credit reporting errors to financial fraud, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says they've received thousands of complaints from our men and women in uniform. Carice Jackman surveys the main issues service members are facing and what can be done to fix it. Service members have submitted more than 400,000 complaints to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau since it opened its stores 11 years ago. All of those service member complaints outpace uh, the, the rest of the population. So that's, that's our major concern is wh why is our population more disadvantaged than the population in general? And that's, the, that's what we try to hone in on. Jim Rice with the Office of Service Member Affairs at the CFPB says they're working hard to address some of the concerns being filed, which includes everything from mortgage problems to financial scams. Some service members also complain to the CFPB that they're not getting the military interest rate reductions they have earned and deserve. In one complaint to the CFPB, a service member said there was no action taken to cap his interest rate at 6% when he tried to get a vehicle loan, something that should have been done per the protections of the Service Member Civil Relief Act. The company later closed his case with monetary relief. The American people expect a financial marketplace that, where there is a, a set of rules that treat people fairly. Uh, that certainly should apply to service members, veterans, and military family members. If you're a service member in need of assistance, the CFPB has a list of financial resources available for you on its website. We're going to continue as hard as we can to push people in the right direction. With this Watching Your Wallet, I'm Carice Jackman. Rice says if you feel that a financial institution or company has violated the Service Members Civil Relief Act or the Military Lending Act, to please report it to the CFPB and submit a complaint.